Today we're down here in the lower garage and what we're ending up doing is I'm building a chicken tractor for my brother-in-law. So I went ahead and did some rough sketches this morning. So let me show you what we got. And this rough sketch is just so that way I have an idea of what I'm doing so I'm not just going into a blind. But I did go around and see what materials I have so that's how I kind of came up with the idea. But I'm gonna be using actual power tools and air nailers. So I do have some of it you can see set up over here, but the rest of it I have over here on the back of the side by side. But now we're gonna go ahead and get some of the two by fours laid out so that way you can see roughly what we're gonna be making. All right, what I'm trying to do here is actually maximize the length of this. So since this is the two by fours I have, I do have some more standing up over here and there's some random ones around, but for the most part, these are what we're going to be using for this. So what I did was try to get a rough line up down here at the bottom. So that way I can see which is my shortest one. So that one's going to be the shortest one. And I'm going to cut all the rest of them to match that one. So that way my length is going to be the same on every piece. Okay, you can see I just went ahead and I scribed my line across to match these. So I put it on the end because my table saw will be able to handle that. All right, what I mean by the table saw can handle that, I meant the miter saw, and it can actually cut, you know, four by four posts pretty easily. So that'll be able to cut these on the ends. So now we got all six cut, we're gonna take one of them inside and that's actually gonna get ripped in half and that's gonna be that middle support. All right, so we're going to take this one in and we're going to get this one basically split down the middle. Okay, you can see them back. I got this one split down the middle. So now it's basically in half of what the width was. I just made it like one and three quarter inch and then ripped it right down the middle on the table saw. So essentially what we just made was you can see there's going to be basically a skinny one down the edge and then another one along here. So there's going to be a full one, a full one, and then a half one down the middle. The one in the middle is pretty much just for nailing so we can get the uh, chicken wire on there better. And it's going to be the same thing at the bottom down here. Now what I need to do is cut these pieces, which I already figured out. I need to make them 45 inches wide so that way I have 48 total inches. All right, so that was my two at 45. Now I'm gonna do four of them for the upright corners. Those I'm gonna be making at 24 inches. Now, unlike the other one, I did go ahead and I measured about 24 inches because I wanted to make sure I could get them all to fit on one board. See, you got these are the 24s and they're all nice and even. So now that's going to be our uprights. These are going to be the two on the bottoms. Then the rest of these are going to be the long ones down the sides. So let me show you what we're talking about here. So these were the 24s I just cut. There's going to be one in each corner. Then we have the 45 across here and here cut. And then my long 96 ones, you know, going across, there's going to be one on the bottom and then one on the top of this. And then that one ripped in half. Then there'll be one down the middle like that. So we got all those cut. The only thing I have to cut now is this two end pieces for each side. All right, my math is not coming out right. I'm gonna figure out the rise and the run for getting the angle. So what I'm just gonna do is go ahead and put the base together. And then from there, I can just measure and get everything in my angles correct. Please leave me a message with any questions or comments. All right, I paused that so that way you guys didn't have to listen to the air compressor running. 
But now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the rest of it going. Okay, now we're gonna have to use what I call my favorite tool is actually the clamps because I'm gonna actually go ahead and start the next top ones and you'll see what I mean. So let's do it this way, just to hold it. Make sure it's lined up right, we got this block. Make sure I don't have an outside corner. All right, I didn't show, but the other side is just rinse and repeat of the same thing. Now you can see we got the two sides on. We don't have the middle ones in yet, which is gonna be these little skinny ones you see laying down here in the ground. So we're gonna go ahead and get those on because I still have to cut a skinny one for across here yet. I forgot that when I went inside. I got one side done. So I'm gonna go ahead, I got this side lined up, but now we'll get the other end done. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other half one that I forgot the first time. So I'll be back with that. All right, so these next ones, the ends are gonna be really easy because it's already lined up. I just gotta put them in place and nail them. So now I just gotta figure out exactly what my measure is gonna be. So you'll see I'm gonna fasten a board upright and then I can just measure off the 45 and go from there. All right, it wasn't running, but what I did is I actually measured across 24 inches because from the outside to outside is 48. So dead center is 24. So I got a mark there and I have this running vertical to it. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a juggling act and basically hold my square there. So I got exactly 45. I'm gonna put it on there and then measure up and we'll see what we got. Thirty-three and a half. Okay, we got one cut here so we can see how it fits. It's gonna be even with that top. And then coming up here, we're in the middle of the upright. So now I can cut three. Had a pause in all the building process because uh, my camera ran out of storage. So I had to go up, download all that, and now we're gonna get back to finishing it up. But I did cut the four pieces that I was doing earlier. You see, I got the four pieces here and I'll show you how they hook together. All right, I did go ahead and get the clamp on there. Out of bullets. All right, I got the other side clamped. Now we'll get this side first. All right, so we only have one board really left to go, and that's gonna be going from this top that you can see here from that corner to the other one. But I did make a mistake and actually cut it too long. So now I gotta go back and trim. What I mean by too long is I actually went the full length from one to the other, but this is actually on the inside of it, so I need to come and I gotta shorten it by three inches, make it fit. All right, I got it finished. I was having problems with the camera, but you can see actually this side, both of these open up. There's wheels on it, so you can easily lift it from the other end. So now we just gotta give it to its owner and you can paint it and put some chicken wire all over it. And here's the back side. This side's gonna be solid, doesn't need to be opened. So, cause the other side's far enough that you can go in 